Some of the things you missed in this trailer point to this being the darkest Purge movie yet. If you want to see what I mean, then stick around to the end of this video. One of the things that's always left me wanting more with the Purge movies is that they're so focused on murder. I mean, come on, the rules of the Purge state that all crime will be legal for 12 hours. I mean, sure, there's that girl who wants to steal a candy bar or whatever in election year, but where are all the vandals, trespassers, kidnappers, drug doers, and other criminals that don't involve murder? In my mind, that's the fun stuff I'd be wanting to do on Purge Night. It looks like this prequel may help explain why we don't see a lot of that stuff in subsequent purges. One of the first images we see is this chick on a swing in an industrial looking building. If you pause, you'll see she's in a high voltage area, and a lot of the other images we see from the beginning of this first purge just seem to be young people blowing things up, doing shenanigans, and even holding crazy parties in the street with no consequences. None of them seem to have very malicious intent. So the president and this woman who came up with the idea for the purge are monitoring these activities, and the president seems disappointed that there aren't more people getting violent. Parties? You predicted a much higher level of participation. Because remember, one of the main conspiracies from the three existing Purge films is that the Purge is just a way for the government to clean up their streets by killing off the poor, who are the ones who are most vulnerable during the Purge. In order to go through with this agenda, the president tampers with the experiment by artificially introducing murder into the equation. You're sending soldiers into the island disguised as citizens. This president is corrupt, and he's using the Staten Island Purge experiment as a front for the American public to convince them that the Purge is helping the country so he can get what he wants. The New Founding Fathers of America, or the NFFA, are the political party that supports the Purge, and this president is most likely their first member to gain power. He even replaces the United States coat of arms flag in the Oval Office with this flag, which looks to have the last two letters from the acronym NFFA along with a preliminary version of the logo. He also wears an NFFA pin right next to his American flag. There's evidence that he's going to be manipulating the Purge in more ways than one. Since this purge is just an experiment, its outcome could greatly affect the possibility of future countrywide purges taking place. And since this one just takes place in an isolated environment on Staten Island, the president is going to want to be able to control the perception of the experiment by the rest of the American people. Throughout the trailer, there are these broadcasts by a channel named CNB, which is most likely a play on CNN, which stands for Cable News Network. So I imagine CNB stands for Cable News Broadcast or something. Throughout the trailer, they're the only ones covering the events of The Purge, including live broadcasts from inside The Purge and propaganda to convince the public that there's no political agenda behind the controversial holiday. Is The Purge a political device? It is a psychological one. If we want to save our country, we must release all our anger in one night. Seeing as how The Purge movies have tied themselves in with the current political movements in America, I wouldn't be surprised if CNB Network took a page out of CNN's book and became involved in some fake news allegations. They could even be a pawn of the NFFA used to make the American people think what their government wants them to think. Of course, there's always going to be backlash, which brings us to our main character. It seems like she's already a rebellious voice in her community. Before the announcement of the Purge, she's already got this megaphone, which we see her use later at the Purge protests. The protests have some interesting signage. We see more references to the current real-life American political standing, like this Not My Purge sign, which is a parody of the Not My President signs held by opposers of current US President Donald Trump. There's also a sign that says, We are not gun lab rats, NFFA murder, and if you skim through frame by frame, you can see the sign in the background that says the 28th is a ha, which most likely says the 28th is a hate crime. So what does this mean? Currently, the US Constitution has 27 amendments, or 27 rules. In this movie, it looks like the Purge will become the 28th Amendment. So there's a little bit of insight on how the Purge came to be recognized by the US government. And then saying that it's a hate crime means that it's a violent act motivated by prejudice. In this case, an act created to wipe out the lower class. Sending soldiers in to tamper with the experiment may not be the only suspicious activity the president is up to though. At the location where the president and Dr. Updale are interviewed by CNB, you can pause and read the sign in the background. If you combine this shot with another screenshot where the sign is present, you can put the two together to read, want to make $5,000? Participate in the Staten Island experiment. No experience, no background checks, no drug testing. Something something, NFFA. I have two theories about what this job could entail. This could be a call for more mercenaries to send into the Purge and incite violence. In this trailer, we see more traditional looking soldiers and these creepy looking fighters who also seem to be part of organized units. It's possible that the president is sending two opposing groups into the Purge on orders to kill each other with no knowledge that the other has been hired. This would naturally cause them to get into a huge battle to help prove the NFFA's point that violence has been pent up inside of everybody and needs to be released. 
My other theory is that the NFFA is targeting the poor and trying to send homeless people from across the country into the Staten Island Purge. They would probably be the most desperate and likely to risk their lives for such a small sum of money. And it would help the supposed agenda of the NFFA trying to clean up the streets. Remember, in the other movies, the NFFA and their rich supporters almost take the killing of homeless people as a religious ritual. In election year, they even hold the ceremonious killings in a church. This new trailer suggests even more of a religious side to the purge than we've seen before. Tonight, we'll see the good and evil in everyone. There's actually a ton of evidence in this trailer to show that the purge is somehow tied into Satanism. So I'm gonna run through and point out what I noticed. Feel free to leave your own ideas in the comments. In other Purge movies, we've seen creepy masks of American symbols like Uncle Sam and the Statue of Liberty. In this movie, the masks look more demonic. There is a pentagram on the wall right here. One of the signs in the protest accuses the government of turning Staten Island into Satan Island. And then on the other side of that shot, the man holds a sign reading Rise Above, which seems to be a counterbalance to the Satan Island sign. When the experiment begins, there's a lot of people hiding out in what appears to be a church. Pause right here. There's a battle that goes on in the intersection of Genesee and Ivy. I look it up in Google Maps, and that's the location of a Baptist church. If you pause right here, there's yet another church in the background. But at the beginning of this video, when I said there's something really dark going on in the trailer, I wasn't even talking about the Satanism. It looks like there's a group out there actually targeting kids. There's a scene of these women using a child's furniture to barricade a room, and there's a scene where a teddy bear is wired with explosives. If you look closely, you'll notice that there's a whole alley full of children's toys rigged up to explosives, including baby dolls, teddy bears, and more. It looks like maybe the rule seen in the other three movies that bans class 4 explosives hasn't been introduced yet, and this may be the reason that the rule is added. This next one could be a really cool reference, or just a coincidence. Let me know your thoughts on it. This rich guy has a pool table with a few balls left out. If the pool cue represents a slash, then the balls spell out 3 slash 12 10. 12 plus 10 is 22, and 3 slash 22 is March 22nd, the date that the purge ends each year. It could mean that this guy wants to see the purge end once and for all. And my last thing you missed from this trailer is actually just the title cards scattered throughout. At first, they appear to be bandages, but as the video goes on, they become more and more stained with blood, until the end of the trailer, where they have now become the stripes of the American flag, suggesting that the identity of the country is now stained with blood. This has been a crazy video week. I already released two things you missed earlier in the week on cargo and a quiet place, so make sure you check those out if you haven't already, and make sure you're prepared for the purge this year by subscribing to CZ's World for new horrors every week, Ring that death bell for notifications, and I will see you in the next one, assuming we both survive.